We're going to call Jenny Wolf up in Fort Dodge, Iowa. She's a massage therapist, and we're going to hear her testimonial today. Hey, Jenny, I see that you have a guest with you, so uh, why don't you tell us who this is? I do. This is Katie Johnson, and she is from Humble, Iowa, shortly, not too far away from Fort Dodge. Very good. And... So what, uh, what's the story here? So, uh, like Jenny said, my name is Katie and I am 20, I'll be 29 in a few days. Crazy to think that I'll be that old. I look good for my age too, I have to say, but anyway, so I was in a car accident in 2013, March of 2013 and, uh, my Ex-husband was driving, and we felt, or he fell asleep and had hit a cement wall at 60 miles an hour, and my side of the vehicle hit the hardest. So the injuries that I sustained were uh, I broke both sides of my jaw. I still have a beautiful smile. Yes. So I didn't mess up or anything. <laughs> and so, um, and then I had brain hemorrhaging, which resulted in uh brain injury and I also uh severed my spinal cord at T3 complete so about right here um and I broke my left hand and a few fingers and I also broke multiple ribs which collapsed both my lungs and um I broke my right shoulder blade and then also I broke um my right hip where the head of the femur sits so needless to say I was pretty broken and um they didn't think I was gonna make it so I'm here I'm telling tell my story to get it out here so that's the that's the good part right there I know I'm a fighter, I'm feisty, so that's probably why God wasn't done with me yet. So <laughs> That's right. That's good. So uh, you said you had a, a T3 complete, and so did you have feeling, movement? What'd you have? I had no feeling below level of injury. Okay. Okay. Movement? None. No movement or anything like that. Okay. So no movement, no feeling below T3, basically. Yeah. Okay. And um, you went through the, the, you know, the care that, that you had. How long did you go through that process before you ended up finding uh, Jenny? Uh, I was in the hospital for three months. And then I did outpatient rehab for, I'd say maybe additional six months out of uh, do an outpatient therapy because I, I was able to make it back to work within a year. That was my, that was my goal was to make it back within a year. And I did it. So nice. Nice. Yes. And so once you got done with the, the outpatient care, then what? Then I, I didn't have anything. I, you know, I was, having a lot of pain, upper body pain, you know, having to adjust and use my upper, my upper body, you know, my arms are my legs. So, uh, I had just a lot of, like I said, a lot of upper body pain. And so, um, I knew someone else who had been going to Jenny. And, uh, so I went to Jenny how how and long from from when you quit the uh, outpatient care to when you saw Jenny? A year and a half after her accident, then I started seeing her regularly. Okay, okay. <laughs> so and I've then, been stuck with her for a while. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, she came in, and and um, you couldn't do a, a postural eval. I'm assuming. No. No. And, and so just going off kind of symptoms and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we started off with some C5. She did have a trach in um, 
just the scapula, there was just a lot going on in here. So we did the C5 myokinesthetic treatment. I mean, we've done a lot of treatments, just trying to work all the areas. We've done some lower body stuff and, you know, now she's having feelings of pain in her legs, which she loves. Yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it, it's great to see that I've had process or progress, but then I have this pain. So, you know, it's great. Jenny gets excited about it, but then it's like, yeah, I have to live with it. So, but the nerves are waking up. Yes, yes, they are waking up, but true. It's, it's good. So you started off with C5. I'm going to go back a little bit. You started up you started off with C5 and then did you get some upper body relief from that? Yes, I did. And so that that basically kept you coming back and going, "Okay, this is working. It's helping me out." Yeah, cuz at first I was having to t I was having to take uh pain medicine. And so now you know, I I still have the knots and things like that and upper body pain but it's not as bad as what it was and so I don't have to take those pain medicines that's really good so about six months um six months you did upper body stuff and then you started going down and doing some lower body stuff at this point you still have no feeling no movement no anything where are you at now because now you've got some feeling you've got some sensation you've got some pain which is, in my opinion, <laughs> yes. good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're waking up those nerves. She's not really yeah. excited about the pain, but I'm waiting yeah. for the day that she can kick me because she's, she's really excited about that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I say that to her. I'm like, God, I wish I could just kick you right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, so yeah, I'm, I mean, the like, even to, uh, last night, I was laying in bed and I had, like, a twitching sensation in my lower back and I'm like oh my goodness this is awesome you know I mean I couldn't feel it but you know physically feel it but it was just a really kind of strong twitching and so like now my lower back kind of hurts so it, it's more kind of like that neuropathy feeling so it's up higher now than what it was so it started in my feet and then goes all the way up. As far as uh, the pain or the or the the pressure feeling. The the pain. So the pain is worse in my feet, and then gotcha. um the and then the higher it goes, um it's not as intense. But uh, let's see. So when I get up to my lower back, and I can feel that. And so, uh, in the middle. That's yeah, right. I was like, why didn't I get the feeling in the middle first, you know, or something like that? Right. <laughs> hey, we have feeling, so. Yeah, I guess. I gotta so be happy about that. You're getting different muscles to twitch and to move. Do you have any control over any of them? No, I do not, unfortunately. Okay. All right. But every now and then, one will just start firing? Yeah. When we do the, the lower body treatments, I have her imagine that she's, you know, lifting her knee up or she's kicking straight out while I'm doing the treatment. That's so, right. like, she's trying to send a message to her brain, like, this is what I need to do. So, try to connect that that nerve with, okay, we're just going to do this. When you first uh, had the accident, did you have control over uh, abdominal muscles or anything like that? Nothing, no. And And now do you? Uh, no, I feel like I can kind of move them, but you can't, you can't see me moving it, but like, uh, it's going to sound kind of funny, but so, um, I had a metrophenoc, which is where they take your, um, your, either your appendix or parts of your intestines and they move it so you can uh, pee out of either your belly button or like the side of your abdomen. And so like, so when I go to, to pee, I just have to self cast myself. And sometimes I can uh, like move my, I don't know, clench my, you know, try to clench those muscles and I can 
maybe pee a little faster. I don't know. It's, it's not all the time. I mean, it sounds really funny, but I mean, you know, so something is kind of wakening up and so I just wish I could get some abs. I used to have abs. I don't have that anymore. I got a, I got a Buddha belly. That's what I call it. <laughs> that is awesome though. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So uh, are you happy with the treatments? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Even, even with the pain? <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose. <laughs> That's good. Well, they told you if I, I'm assuming they told you that you'd probably never feel anything. My diagnosis was it was, uh, my spinal cord was completely severed Wow. at, at T, T3. And then, so they have like an Asia scale it goes like Asia A, Asia B, Asia C, and then I think to D. And so Asia A is the complete uh, uh, paralysis, so no feeling below, and then I got classified, reclassified as an Asia, Asia B. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So you went from a from a level A to a level B, which is a good. That's progress. Yeah, she went from complete paralysis to an incomplete. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, so you guys are going to have to uh, keep us posted as you progress through this. Yeah, I hope I can kick somebody. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Jenny right, first. We'll follow... It's going to be Jenny first. Yeah. <laughs> what a great story that was. And if you'd like to get results, here's Jenny's information.